and welcome back to my kitchen. If you are new here, my name is Lucy and I bring delicious recipes every week. So if you love cooking just like I do, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, okay? Do not forget to like, share and comment on my video. Stay tuned as I bring you my recipe of coconut milk with mackerel fish. Guys, this is a must have in your kitchen okay it is a great option for lunch a great option for supper yeah guys i am having mine with some rice okay you can have it with plantain you can have it with yam you can have it with any staple stash of your choice okay guys so stay tuned do not click out as i bring you the recipe okay stay tuned for my returned subscribers i want to say thank you so much for sticking by your girl all this while i am so 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 grateful i appreciate your support i appreciate your comments i appreciate your likes and your sharing okay thank you so much may god richly bless you so guys yeah for the uh, for the recipe guys we have of course the mackerel fish yeah i have already washed i have already cleaned my mackerel fish you can see how well cleaned they are okay guys i'll be needing some beef just for the beef stock okay some coconut of course for the coconut milk and the rice okay guys here is some chili flakes some bell bell, bell peppers tomatoes uh, uh, yeah the bell pepper the garlic the ginger and some seasoning clips do not forget your salt guys i also have paprika okay you can see here i have chopped my bell peppers okay and here is also the onions they are well crushed the tomatoes also guys will be making tomato paste and here is the spring onions the garlic and ginger well crushed okay so now guys we are going over to marinate our fish Guys, you can marinate your fish and leave it in the fridge overnight, okay? But for the sake of the video, I am just going ahead to prepare my fish. I will first add in some salt, then the garlic and ginger, then I add my crushed onions, then the crushed bell pepper, I'm adding some paprika, and of course, chili flakes. If you don't eat chili, you can omit this step, okay? Give that a good stir. Do not forget to add some seasoning cubes to that, okay guys? And with your clean hands just go ahead and massage your fish make sure all the ingredients touches the fish then you will go ahead and grill this in the oven but do not forget also to sprinkle some olive oil or any vegetable oil of your choice on the fish this is just to prevent it from sticking to your grill while you're grilling it in the oven okay guys so just watch me as I do it I'm going to drizzle some olive oil on it. I make sure that my fish is well marinated before I pop it into the oven. So guys, while my fish will be in the oven, I will go ahead and prepare my tomato paste. You can buy your tomato paste from the shop, but if you have been following me for a while, you will realize that I always make my tomato paste, okay? Just from fresh tomatoes. Voila, my fish has been grilling for just about 15 minutes and it's okay it's ready to to remove from the oven i will remove this from the oven i will set it aside then i will go i will go to make my tomato paste guys to make the tomato paste is very easy just pour the tomatoes in the pot and let it steamer until the water dries out then you got your tomato paste can see the water has dried completely guys i'm just going to set that aside then i will proceed to make my 
coconut milk but before that i'm going to boil that meat you remember the meat i showed you earlier just to get the beef stock that will add taste to my to my um coconut milk sauce okay if you don't eat beef you can omit that step and just go over to your coconut milk guys to make the coconut milk is very very easy you just chop your coconut into your blender then you use lukewarm water to blend it into a smooth paste then with the help of your cheesecloth you just have to squeeze out the milk from the coconut and discard the chaff then you set the coconut milk aside and wait for its turn to be added into your sauce Guys, coconut milk is a, is, a, is a healthier version of your regular cow milk, okay? If you want to lose weight, if any, uh, any recipe that calls for milk, you can replace it with coconut milk. It's healthier. It's full of, 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 of saturated fat, healthy fat. That can even reduce cholesterol. It can help you reduce weight also, okay? So you can see here, I am extracting the coconut milk. So now we are set to begin the cooking. I am using coconut oil. So I'm just going in with a, a tablespoonful of coconut oil in my skillet. Guys, I use coconut oil because I am cooking coconut milk sauce. This will further enhance the flavor of my, of my dish. Okay? So now I'm going to add in my crushed onions and then I will give that a stir Now I'm adding in my crushed red bell peppers. I'll just give that a stir. I'll leave it to cook for about two minutes, then I will add in my garlic and ginger. Now I'm adding in my tomato paste. Now I'm adding the beef stock. Remember I told you guys I was cooking the beef just for the beef stock. Okay guys, add your beef stock to further enhance the taste of your coconut milk sauce. I'll cover that and let it simmer for a while. Then I will start incorporating my grilled mackerel. Guys, this is a very easy to prepare dish, okay? Very, very easy. 
now you are adding my coconut milk into the pot when you add the coconut milk do not cover your pot completely cover it one-sided because if you cover the coconut milk is going to boil and overflow okay and you don't want that so when you cover the pot just leave it for some air okay so now it's time for the mackerel okay guys mackerel fish provides a substantial source of omega-3 fatty acids okay this is why you have to incorporate it into your diet it also contains protein which is rich and is beneficial okay it also has vitamins and minerals okay and for a bonus tip mackerel fish is very very cheap in the market it's not expensive okay including this healthy fish in our diet may offer many health benefits particularly those related to increased omega-3 consumption okay guys so go ahead and make some your family will love it it is so tasty guys my kitchen smells so nice okay you will enjoy it okay guys please do not forget to like share and comment on my video okay i wouldn't mind if you subscribe okay guys thank you so much for your love so far now i am just adding my spring onions then i will cover it to steamer for only two minutes and voila our mackerel coconut milk sauce is ready okay guys until next time when i come your way with another yummy recipe i want you all to stay healthy i want you to stay safe thank you so much for your time and bye bye